What's up everybody and welcome to 3D Printing News. I'm your host Mike, so let's go ahead and get into this. So if you guys are new around here, this is 3D Printing News where I host it every single Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button on the video, I greatly appreciate it. And also comment down below if you have any suggestions on things you would like to see in the future. There's not too much I have to discuss this week, but there are some topics that you guys have been greatly anticipating, like the Elegoo AMS system or MMU, whatever they're calling it. And a few other things, of course. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So last week I asked you guys what build plates you were using and I got a ton of good suggestions. I'm still in the process of deciding which one I want to go with but I'll let you guys know when I do decide. With that being said, my question for this week, and this is something new going forward I want to do every single week, is just kind of ask you guys a question so that way you guys can know, let me know in the comments down below, just you know, to get your guys' feedback and what you guys are doing. So last week I asked you guys what 3D printer build plates you were using. This week I'm asking, where do you guys get your 3D printing files? I use files from Droid Division to build life-size droids, such as my V1 Battle Droid, I'm working on a V2 Battle Droid. I use Hex 3D to get a few funny files, some cool files. There's some stuff I've seen that he's come out with this week or this month that I wanna go ahead and 3D print. But where do you guys get yours? Do you just download the free ones off makeaworld.com? Let me know if there's any 3D modelers out there that you think you have some cool stuff you just haven't been getting recognized. Leave them in the comments below. I do read every single comment here on the channel. Whether or not I reply, that's one thing, but I do see every single comment. So I'll be sure to go ahead and check out what you guys suggest. So going in and getting into the news, the news you guys have been waiting for, we have an update, but not really, on Elgu's MMU system. They did come out with update 1.1.42, I believe it is, and that has actually given us some insight into Elgu's multicolored system. So what is it, right? So there's two main differences. I'm gonna put them up on screen. You can see these photos are gonna be complete and utter dog poo, right? You guys aren't gonna really be able to tell probably what you're looking at, but you guys can go to the original Reddit post that has found all of this source code down below. He's actually one of the people who have been posting in the Elegoo subreddit about free the code LOL, which if you guys don't know, is an effort to release the Elegoo Centauri Carbon source code because it's been found to use Clipper and with the Elegoo multi-material system or whatever they're calling it. So they believe they have found some Clipper source codes in this and you know what, that's allowed for them to find some additional information. So with that being said, it does look like they're going to offer two systems. They're gonna have an AMS light or an MMU light and they're gonna have the regular version of the MMU. One of these looks to actually have the drying function and some heaters in the system, and the other one does not. That looks to be the main difference. The upgraded version also looks like it has additional motors, while the light version does not. There was nothing about the price, how additionally it would work, these are all pulled from the source codes as far as I'm aware. I, again, I will link the original Reddit post down below where I'm pulling this information. You can determine for yourself whether or not it's accurate, right? This is all speculation until Elgu actually announces something, but based on the update, right, we're getting real deliverable numbers. It does appear to have some sort of LED screen potentially, which you kind of expect that some of them do, some of them don't, like uh, Creality's has an actual screen where you can actually use it. Um, I haven't used that system before, so I'm not sure how in particular it works. But for example, Bamboo Lab, they don't have anything on their AMS system. They don't have any sort of screen and neither does any Cubic. So this would actually be an upgrade. Additionally, of course, it has the RFID tag system. But again, we don't know for sure what this is all going to entail. They did also, you know, recently or a few months ago, post that they were looking for some feedback in open sourcing their RFID system. So hopefully that has also given some more benefits to this system overall once it finally releases. But we would greatly appreciate it, I think, as far as like the open source community would greatly appreciate it, because honestly, I'm not too deep into that if it actually got released for all of the source code so that way if anything wasn't working the community could help this thing work just that much quicker 
I want to go on to say is I don't think we're going to get this system actually officially announced in Q3. Elugu may make some sort of official update and probably right after this video launches. That's what always happens. News comes out. But I don't think we're going to get any sort of official update in Q3 as far as like this is a concrete date when it's releasing. I do think we might get like a little teaser or maybe they'll say, hey, look, this is the date we're pushing for and we're going to showcase it on this date, but it'll be later into October or November for that to come out. And honestly, that's kind of a downer because then we're starting going to start getting the Bamboo Lab H2C. While I know the people who are buying those systems are in completely different brackets, it's still like disheartening that, you know, the Elegu Centauri Carbon is like one of the only core XY 3D printers on the market without multicolor. But again, if they can come out and they can offer these systems, which apparently I'm not into like the technical aspects of a lot of this stuff. I need to do my own research about motors, what kind of like stepper motors are actually better than the others. But based on the community on Reddit, they were saying they're having a hard time deciphering on how or determining how they're actually going to get this cheaper than the Bamboo Lab AMS2 which that would be insane if Elegoo came out with something to me that's insane like if they come out with something that's super upgraded but it's more than Bamboo Lab I think people would struggle to adopt that now I do think the light system should come in under $150, right? If you already have a dryer, you don't need it, or maybe you have a separate drying box already, and you can live without the drying system, cool. But it does come with upgraded motors for the additional one. So like, there are definitely trade-offs, but I think if you can get multicolor then, Core XY 3D printer for $450 all in, and maybe they do like 430 for a combo unit, to me, that's pretty enticing, and that's probably still the best deal on the market, as long as it works. Now, when it comes to the actual normal bundle, and it's $550, and you're paying just as much for the AMS as you are the 3D printer, that, that kind of stuff starts to like, uh, it doesn't compute in my head, because as of right now, for example, like any cubic is getting the Cobra under $500 now for the Core XY, you know, comboed system on that front. And yeah, so like, I, I guess, where do they come in? And I do understand that the Elegu Centauri Carbon performs and punches above its weight class. But again, when you're looking at all of the consumers on the market, these are things that you need to consider and everyone's considering all of their options. But with that being said, hopefully we get something official soon. I just don't see how we can continue to go much longer without actually getting any sort of official word from Elegu because this is probably their most anticipated project. And notably as well, the Jupiter 2 was missing from IFA Berlin and we didn't get anything from TCT. So Elegu has kind of been absent with the announcements. So for example, right, you showed off the Jupiter 2 at some place you actually had a Jupiter 2, you were showing it off but we still don't have like what that exactly is looking like. Yeah, I, I guess maybe they're working on stuff behind the scenes. I get it, it takes time. And again, I mean, Elegu can take their time with the resin printers because they know what they got. Those printers are fantastic as I've stated before, but with the Centauri Carbon, I wish we had something a little bit sooner. Um, yeah. So getting into additional news, we talked about last week that CD Projekt Red has partnered with Prusa and the Printables website to actually offer Cyberpunk 2077 materials so you can actually cosplay and get game accurate stuff that you can 3D print off their website and it was totally free. They've done it again with Borderlands 4, which is amazing. They actually have the Ripper mask that you can go ahead and download and I've seen tons of people, or I guess a few people, who have started to download this thing or print this thing in full multicolor and it looks awesome guys so if you haven't already go ahead and check it out if you're interested in the borderlands games this is definitely something you should check out and honestly this is like the most exciting news to me that we've had in a really long time because for example maybe they can start partnering with some of these um other game companies so for example the death souls or dark souls sorry that they come out they can offer these swords these helmets these crazy articulate things 
just to push the community even further. For example, when the new Bethesda game comes out, maybe they can do it. There's no reason they're not making any money on the side with props and stuff. So I think the prospect of all this stuff is really interesting. So in other news, Forum Labs has announced that they are doing a print on demand service. I only really saw one or two articles about this. It does look to be relatively new. So it appears that instead of buying their 3D printer and you go to someone who has bought their 3D printer to print you out like a resin object, they're actually saying, why would you do that and go directly to us? So it does seem to be the first 3D print manufacturer who's actually starting to do that. Where will this go? I guess time will tell. But that's really all I had for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and comment down below what you guys would like to see. It never fails that I miss some sort of 3D printing news as soon as this drops. Just for example, I missed the Borderlands news because a few hours after I dropped this video, boom, there it comes out. And who knows, one of these days I'm gonna do this video and Bamboo Lab is going to announce their H2C and I'm going to be a little salty that I put out the video at 6 a.m. But you know what? What can I do? It happens to the best of us. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy your weekend.